Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I thought that he played great. Um, we just got to do more things to make him more comfortable so we can get it out sooner. And um, um, I think that he played great. Um, uh, and uh, yeah. we got to go back and like, watch the film and just get better. Did anything surprise you with this guy? Oh. Um, nothing really surprised me. He's been the same guy uh, since, like, day one. So, um, I wouldn't say anything surprised me. I mean, I pretty much expected that from him. Uh, I think he played great. Well. Shot game is like it is today. It, how much of a challenge is that for you guys as receivers and trying to get it open over the passing plays? Um, they were playing a lot of zone, and, and we just have to adapt to uh, zone plays. And uh, I felt like in the second half, I felt like like we kind of did. Uh, we just got to keep doing that and find ways to make more plays. So. Is situational football something that comes around later in the season sometimes in your experience? Um, situational football really can come up like at any time. I mean, like right there we had, like we had a two minute before the half, we had a two minute like at the end right there. So, I mean, really, I mean, like we've been working on situational football ever since the first day of camp. So, we just got to execute some what, what is it like to see Shaq back out there? Oh, yeah. Like, like it's great to see him out there yelling, punching balls, and just doing everything. That touch on the ball. Oh, that was probably the best play. Like, like I mean, I mean, uh, Z just Z. I mean, like Z. Or, sorry, Z just made the most heads up play and punched it out. Buck scoops it, jogging slow as heck, but still scores. So like, it was great. Jogging, like, like, huh? Yeah, jogging. <laughs> like, like, operationally, no. operationally today, just how did Anthony kind of handle all the, the play calls and the getting in and out of the huddle and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. I mean. He did great. I mean, I mean, I felt like he was solid like all day, and nothing, and, and like nothing really rattled him. And uh, he was just the same guy from play one to play sixty or like whatever we were playing today. So um, I'm really like proud of that, and uh, excited to see us trend upwards. Um, so we're gonna get back after it and uh, start getting ready for next. Week. Even on that two-minute drive, even though it didn't end the touchdown, to you know have him come back from the interception and lead that drive, what did that show you? Absolutely. I mean, it just shows me that he's poised, that he's poised, that he's ready, and that we have something that we can really build off of. So you, you gave me the football. Mm -hmm. uh, he says he can't find it. Well, I'm going to help him. Because uh, uh, because if he doesn't want that, no, like I'm gonna make him take it. So like, he has to have like his first one. But where is it? Uh, probably the equipment room has it somewhere. Like I'll go ask them, and like they'll probably know where it's at. Do you normally keep them? Um, I, touchdowns, I, I, I keep the ones that I think are worth keeping. Like if that was thrown like by like a best quarterback, like I would definitely like just I'm rookie. Gonna, well, well, like since it's <laughs> his first passing touchdown, like I want him to. Have so, so like it means more to him, like where he's at, like in his career. Did he seem shocked when you gave it to him? Or no, like he was so hyped up about the touchdown. Like I handed it to him, and he just kind of grabbed it. Like, like I feel like he didn't realize that like he actually had the ball in his mouth. What makes him still a sample? He you didn't play like a rookie. You didn't play more than just a rookie. You didn't get that impression. No, I mean, I mean, he, he was poised from play one to play to play sixty five or like whatever. Like I had to check, like I just had, but something like that, right? So, um, like, I'm just proud of like the way that he fought today, and it didn't happen the way that we wanted it to happen. Still last night, but um, I think we have something that we could build on. What made that touchdown work? Was it Kylan kind of sealing it? I mean, it was a combination of throw and like blocking. I mean, there's nothing really that I, I mean, like, just like you could have put anybody in there and they probably just score that fast. So, I mean, I mean, like, they blocked their butts off and it was a great call, it was a great throw, and, and I was just lucky that I was the one that got the finish. Do you take some pride, though, in being a Yak guy, you know, showing you can do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, somehow the, the notion that I'm slow has been created, like, over the years. I don't know where it came from, but. Um, uh, maybe, maybe for my own friends, like jumping around too much. I'm a bigger guy, so I guess bigger guys are deemed as slow. But you know, I just get to prove that I got a little bit of speed. You know. You're saying it's Desmond Patman's fault that people I, think that. Honestly, time. it probably is Desmond's fault, <laughs> but I'm faster than Desmond. So. You're faster than Debo. Oh yes, definitely <laughs> faster than yeah. Debo. Some issues on third and fourth down conversions. How do you kind of build upon that as you guys get ready for next week? Yeah.